Hello and welcome to the Wind Environmental Services Wind Image Video Support Series. This tutorial will cover the process of setting up and using Wind Image Transfer. In order for Wind Image Transfer to work properly, make sure you first load the configuration file onto your Ricoh camera and make sure that the Quick Send mode is set to Auto. Both of these functions are available in the expanded settings menu on your Ricoh camera. To make sure that Wind Image Transfer communicates properly with your Ricoh camera, Make sure that your wireless LAN settings under Wi-Fi Manager are set to all available networks. With that said, let's click on Start and start Wind Image Transfer. With Wind Image Transfer up and running, let's start by setting an output location for our pictures by clicking Browse. And for the purpose of this video demonstration, My Documents will be fine. Let's select it. With Wind Image Transfer running, you can stop the application by clicking the Shut Down button, or if you need to minimize Wind Image Transfer, simply hit the X. Let's go ahead and do that for video demonstration. Let's click on the X. Notice that Wind Image Transfer is still running in the background, as designated by the little W down here. Let's click it to bring Wind Image Transfer back up. Now that Wind Image Transfer is back up on the screen, my folder is set where I want it. I'll go ahead and take a picture on my Ricoh camera, and here in a couple of seconds it'll appear on the screen. And there is the picture that I took automatically transferred from the Ricoh camera. When you're finished transferring images and you want to close without Wind Image Transfer, simply click on Shut Down up here. If you'd like to take more pictures, just take more images and they'll automatically appear in that order. This concludes our Using Wind Image Transfer video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or issues, email us at support at windenvironmental.com. Have a good day.